What's up everybody? It's your boy JD and I'm back again with another video. So this video, um, we got some news regarding season four, just some sketches and scans behind the scenes. Um, some pretty much just a little bit of art from, you know, the artists of the beginning after the end, showing some of our favorite characters and what they might look like in this upcoming season. And also some new characters or familiars that we might be introduced to in this season and also i just wanted to give my quick thoughts and predictions on what i expect to take place in season four as a whole not just the um first chapter that's coming out friday but just as a whole just some quick predictions that i just thought of and i just wanted to discuss so without further ado let's get into the video because you know what friday is beginning after the end day baby All right, so yeah, so like I said, we just get a brief behind the scenes of some art of our characters in the upcoming season. So I haven't seen this yet, so I don't know what they're going to look like. Okay, so concept art of Avier. Don't know who Avier is. I don't think I don't think we're ever introduced to this familiar. At least I think this is a familiar. Um, I don't know if this is like Sylvie or not. Or is this like something else, Avia? Like, but I just don't think we was ever introduced to uh, animal or familiar name Avia. So, but the, the um, concept art is pretty cool. So, okay, concept art of Flare Hawk. I don't think we've been ever introduced to Flare Hawk. So, if I just had to like take a guess, I would assume Avia may be for Elijah maybe um and flare hawk could flare hawk be for tess i can see i can see tess taking the flare hawk but then again tess is getting the elder guardian beast will so maybe not maybe not maybe it's um hmm i don't know i don't know who flare hawk can be for uh maybe um Maybe Lilia, maybe? I don't know. I don't know who Flare Hawk could be for, but I like Flare Hawk's design way more than Aviers, but that's just me. Y'all, you guys let me know what you think about it in the comment section below about these concept arts of these two animals. So we get Lilia, um, a sketch of what Lilia looks like in Xavier Academy. You know, she got the little Hogwarts thing going on. She she looking nice. She looking nice. Okay, I, I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad. I can deal with it. You know, she She's, you know, Uncle Vince's daughter, so she she kind of got that preppy, um, you know, royalty, you know, I'm rich and you not kind of thing look going on. But we know she's not like that, but I'm just saying. You know. Next up, we have Kathleen Glader. Okay, the princess who everybody. Okay, so first of all, if you watch the, um, the um, tier list of the beginning after the end that we did on the channel, if you didn't, make sure to go check that out. But um, yeah, so we thought, everybody thought, except Savvy, everybody thought Kathleen Glader um, asked Arthur to go on a tea date with her. But it was just a thought that she had that she was going to ask him, but she ended up not saying it. So we was all looking stupid. So I, I was excited for Kathleen because I thought she was she was about to give Tess a run for her money. You know, it was becoming... Um, white food for Arthur, but um apparently not test ill number one in that in that regard, which she was anyway, but it was just gonna be something a little nice to see. But we get to see her in her outfit. Looks pretty nice. I like the black more than the blue. Um I don't know if Kathleen is gonna be in a the same class as Arthur. Um I would assume so. Soon she'll be in the same class as Arthur. Of course Lily is already ahead so maybe the next level or grade that you get your uniform changes maybe that's how it works or it could be like the harry potter thing where you're in different um quote-unquote groups you know slytherin gryffindor hufflepuffs maybe it's something like that i don't know next we have curtis glather um he kind of he has the same uniform outfit 
as um her his sister so but it's the men's attire which which isn't bad i can see arthur rocking something like this but then again this could maybe be something for royals only um we know that arthur and elijah got their uniforms but we didn't exactly get to see exactly what they look like we just saw the box so maybe this is the boys uniform um it could be or maybe this is the uniform for royals i mean he is the prince's son and she is um the prince's daughter so maybe they get special treatment as far as what they can wear but hey um it's still nice to look at it and see it oh kind of peeking a little bit yeah so it's still nice to look at and see so who knows we're gonna see we're gonna see next we get elijah now this is the same kind of the same uniform as lilia so maybe you get special treatment on um exactly what you wear what your uniform is going to look like based off your status so if this is the case if your uniform is based off your status okay so curtis and kathleen they're royalty obviously so they're probably going to have you know a better looking uniform elijah you know he's perceived as you know a peasant so even though lily isn't necessarily a peasant because you know curtis has money i mean uncle vincent has money but um I don't know that's interesting so maybe that's not the case or hmm i don't know it's interesting maybe maybe they're just different forms of uniforms maybe that's what it is okay so battle mage darker darker okay so okay so maybe this is their battle attire but like i said what's the difference on why curtis has curtis and kathleen has one set and lillian elijah has another I can only guess status, but maybe like if they're battling, this is what they wear when they do mock battles, and maybe this is what they wear on any other occasion. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but for, I'm definitely hyped for Friday to see. Okay, so Scholar. Um, this is the Scholar uniform, so I guess Lilia would be the Scholar. Okay, so she kind of has the Scholar uniform. Uh, I mean, it's it's normal. It's nothing like to brag at or whatever. But hey, I don't know. So that's pretty much it. It was just basic concept art of uniforms and what we could expect um, our, some of our favorite characters to be wearing and everything like that. But I'm more interested in Avier and Flarehawk and see what what and who familiars are do they belong to. Um, Avia looks like something like it would belong to somebody from the Elfin Kingdom or maybe the um, Dwarf Kingdom. Flare Hawk, that looks Flare Hawk. The the look and the name just sounds like something more of a royal person would have. So definitely interested to see where Flare Hawk comes. All right, but <clears throat> now on to my prediction. So I I expect what's gonna happen in season four is. We're going to see the new continent. We're going to see that. We're going to see... Um, we're going to be introduced to a lot of characters, obviously. I think Arthur is going to form a clique of his own. Um, of course, he has Elijah. Of course, um, Tess is going to be in his little circle. But I think we're going to get a few more people. Of course, we're going to have Lilia. Like, you know, the people that we know Arthur um, rocks with is going to be close. But I think we're going to get some newer people that's going to join the clique of course luke, I, I you know i would love it if arthur invites lucas to be in the clique and just backstabs him uh, <laughs> i would love that but i doubt arthur would have lucas anywhere near Tess, and um of course elijah is not going to want him so but yeah um i think maybe the dwarf that the other um peasant that elijah saved when we got into that little scuffle out in the capital maybe he might join in and i'm pretty sure we're gonna have to have another girl in there somewhere so i'm interested to see which girl that's gonna be i don't think it's gonna be lily i think it's gonna be another girl brand new character but yeah um also i'm interested to see what teachers i'm pretty sure arthur is gonna piss a lot of teachers off <laughs> like the the real snobby teachers i expect arthur to piss a few of them off especially the guy who we were introduced to in the last chapter of season three um i do expect him and arthur kind of 
to maybe get into it, not like a fight, but maybe like they might have a mock battle. He might try to pick on Arthur and Arthur, you know, pretty much shows him he's not to be messed with and stuff like that. I also see, a, I also expect a big fight or not a fight, but maybe like another scuffle to take place between the elves, the dwarves, the humans, the royalty and the peasants. Um, so I do expect that to happen. I mean, these are kids at the end of the day, even though we follow Arthur and his journey, we know Arthur has the mind of a king of a 40 year old or can't remember how old he was before he died. I want to say like 40 or 50 or something like that. But we know he has a mind of an adult. So it is always nice to be refreshed and reminded that, hey, even though Arthur is very mature and, you know, he doesn't think the same as other kids. At the end of the day, these are still kids that we're around. Of course, they're going to do kiddish and childish things and, you know, be um, have racist tendencies to other um, nationalities and stuff. So that, that's par for the course. But I do expect us to get more information from this next continent. I do expect us to see this next continent. And I do expect the beginning of some kind of war to break out because I just don't think we're going to be able to go to this continent and everything is going to be all you know doves and roses and peachy clean and, and all that stuff i i just don't i just don't see it i just don't see it i could be wrong because like i said i haven't read the light novel so i don't know what's going to take place i'm only guessing and assuming what could happen but i do expect something to happen as far as some kind of war or battle to happen between um the two continents where arthur is and this brand new continent because they were already sending you know familiars over there camouflage trying to get a peek at what's going on scoping everything out probably checking out to see the battle power and everything so i do expect that to happen also um i do expect well i do think is arthur is probably going to get a promotion like they're probably going to have like a tier of course we have the six lances and i do expect like there to be another tier maybe like the top of the students and i do expect arthur to be a part of that as far as like the top students in cyrus academy and probably Tess, and probably um a few more kids they're gonna be like that you're gonna have six lances and then you're gonna have like this upper echelon of kids and then you know four or four you know where if there is a battle of course the six lance is gonna go and then it's gonna have these other kids who are that next tier they're gonna go but who knows arthur might not even be in that tier because we might i'm pretty sure they have some strong kids at cyrus academy probably like the seniors or whatever the real upperclassmen who are more powerful than arthur so that will be interesting to see i do expect something like that to happen because i don't think they're going to leave everything to the six lances if a war does break out i think they're gonna have like some of the top kids and it wouldn't and also i expect there to be some kind of um tragedy to happen at cyrus academy because every school arc has to have some kind of tragedy taking place somewhere like it has to be some kind of explosion or some kind of um <clears throat> excuse me some kind of explosion or some kind of death or um infiltration that takes place where somebody outside tries to infiltrate the school steal information um steal magic books whatever still or kidnap somebody maybe kathleen will get kidnapped by you know one of these outside people from another continent or maybe it might have some mysterious transfer student that's actually from the other continent and is sent there as a spy you know that's happened a lot so maybe that's one thing that could happen and you know the other student is infiltrating and you know sending messages out and maybe that might be that new person that joins the click if it goes by you know you know manga stereotypes you know that other person from the other continent infiltrates and sends information and then befriends everybody there and then feels bad and betrays his home to be with the new people you know stuff like that it happens all the time so i is like all of these are just really theories and stuff that i have predictions on what could happen um in season four and what i think we might see in season four i have heard from a lot of the light novel readers that um the school arc is pretty long so i do expect um it to, it to last a, probably maybe i would say maybe two and a half seasons 
um, this school arc lasts until we get to something else. I don't think the school arc will last a full three seasons, like all the way to season seven. I'm or whatever. I'm pretty sure it might end maybe like you know two and a half seasons or so. Also, <clears throat> hmm, I do expect. Um, I do predict that Li not Lilia, um, Eleanor will grow more. Um, she will get a beast will. I do think Arthur is going to get her a beast will just like he gave Tess a beast will. I think Arthur is going to, honestly, I think Arthur is going to try to give everybody a beast will. Make sure everybody in his circle has some kind of power to um, be able to, you know, defend themselves if necessary. So I'm pretty sure Elijah's going to get some kind of um, power boost. Maybe a beast will for him. Or maybe his like, um, you know, he jumps a core stage, something like that. I do think Lilia may get a beast will as well. I don't know if it's going to be this arc or it's going to be later. But I do think Arthur is probably going to get her a beast will. Um, and of course, she's been using that bow. So if, if I would have my ideal scenario <clears throat> for Lilia, I mean, not Lilia. I keep saying fucking Lilia. I mean, Eleanor. Um... I do think she'll probably develop wind because it, it just seems like, you know, you have to you have the elfin um, bow. I can just see her using wind or something like that or some kind of manipulation of magic to where it's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe she might be like a Jean Grey or something. I don't know. I don't know. But. That, that's just kind of my thoughts on what I expect to happen in season four. Now, as far as what's going to happen um, for the first chapter, I expect us to put on our uniforms. I expect us to go to school, um, probably do the, you know, cliche um, entrance ceremony type things. I'm pretty sure Arthur is going to rub a few people the wrong way. I'm pretty sure it's going to rub Ivy Sword the wrong way. Of course, Kathleen's gonna see him. I'm pretty sure Tess is gonna hug him. I think, I think, I think he's gonna be surprised at what Tess is going to look like. I think he's gonna probably see Tess in a different light in this arc because, you know, of course, she's grown up a little more. She kind of fleshed out longer hair and stuff. And Tess was already an attractive girl to begin with. So I think Arthur will probably start feeling a little, you know, a little more love connection towards Tess. And I think that's going to cause a little conflict as far as Lilia and Kathleen goes. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be some other girl there that's going to like Arthur as well. Because, I mean, he's Arthur, you know. So, he 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 gets the girls. He gets the girls. And, um, yeah. So, that's pretty much kind of my brief theories and predictions on what I expect and think that's going to happen in the first um, few chapters of... Well, the first chapter of Season 4 that releases Friday. And also, what I think is going to happen in Season 4 as a whole... Um, but yeah, def definitely um, let me know what you guys think about my theories and predictions in the comment section below. And that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And like I said, make sure to leave um, you guys' thoughts in the comment section below on what you think um, is going to happen in the season four as a whole. And also the first chapter of season four that releases Friday. Of course, I will be here ready to rock on, um, you know, doing a live reaction. I'm, I'm really debating if I'm going to do a live reaction, put it on YouTube or just stream it on Twitch. I will definitely let you guys know that probably Thursday. What I'm going to do as far as am I going to take the risk and do it on here um, and just not show any panels. Or am I just going to show the panels and do the live reaction on Twitch? But like I said, I will definitely let you guys know I'm still debating because I don't want to risk it. But at the same time, it's beginning after the end, bro. Like, y'all, y'all, a lot of y'all are here for beginning after the end. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> a lot of y'all um, are here for beginning after the end. I know some for solo, but a lot is really for beginning after the end. And I appreciate all my beginning after the end um, subs. Who will stick around and rock out with your boy. Definitely appreciate you guys. But um, I'm still. I know like the overgear live reaction. The solo leveling live reaction. Um, I'm just a reader. All of that is going to be on Twitch. So I'm just letting you guys know that right now. Um, those reactions. I will be doing those on Twitch. Until further notice. 
Um, as far as beginning after end and gods were born, um, even though I have spoken to the studio and the author who does God was born a long time ago and they already said they were cool with me doing reactions and reviews and stuff like that i do want to check back in with them again just to make sure it's still cool that i do you know the live reaction videos and stuff like that or if i do need to change the way i do them but i know they already said a long time ago that I, they were cool with me doing them so i will check back in with them for those of you who um you know, like the God Reborn um, reactions and stuff. I will check back in with them, make sure it's still cool or if I need to change the way I do them or how Tapas um, looks at the whole live reaction stuff in general. So I will definitely check into that. And if they can give me some kind of insight as far as what Tapas feels um, about live reactions and stuff like that, then um, beginning after the end will be back depending on that news and information that I do get from them. So definitely stay tuned, um, subscribe to the channel to make sure you get that information first. I will definitely have that as soon as I get that. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Um, oh yeah, also want to keep up with me. Discord link is in the description below. Also follow me on Twitter at the Otaku Fix. Subscribe to the backup channel just in case we go down for whatever reason, because I don't know, they've been <clears throat> man they be getting everybody for it. any and every kind of reason so i really don't know what's going to happen also follow me on twitch for the solo leveling live reaction that's going to take place wednesday also the omnis omniscient reader reaction and the overgear reaction so definitely check those on um, definitely follow me on twitter i mean not twitter on twitch that link is also in the description below and yeah till next time on jd i'm out peace y'all